Oh, have we started? Oh, my bad. Yeah. Oh, my I bad. Ju- I always jump the gun. Yeah. Let's well, get the first bad. question. It's like, what? No, my bad. Um, what, what's the mentality you guys have to have when you're down? Um, you know, three star players, obviously important reserves, four game losing streak. What is the, what is the, I'm assuming it's a bunker mentality, maybe. Yeah, I mean, it's just next man up. We got to, you know, just bond together. Uh, just become a scrappy team. Uh, we got to be all over the place, helping each other out. I mean, we just got to do it by committee. Um, we can't rely on, you know, certain guys to step up. We all have to do it to help each other out, and that's how we're going to get out this far. Go ahead. What was the – how much was just Phoenix shot making a thing versus, you know, the, I mean, the shots were contested, but they made the shots in the first quarter? Yeah, I mean, you got to give them credit. They came out, um, you know, hitting their shots, um, and they put us in a hole, a big hole. And, you know, you got to give credit where credit is due. Uh, they came out ready to play, um, and we just got to do our part in forcing them to, you know, get off the line. I, I forgot how many threes they made in the first quarter, but it was um, way too many, seven, seven, way too many. So, um, you know, that's on us, but, you know, you got to give credit where credit is due. They came out ready to play. Michael just said you guys had a, I don't know, it was a good talk in the locker room. Um, can, can you shed any light on, on what the sentiment or what the vibe was in the locker room? No. <laughs> Do you have a rough, I mean, you guys have so many players that are injured, and then you know, you know the offense kind of is on a roller coaster as well. Is there a reference point in your career to going through a stretch like this, and, and how did you guys get out of it? If, if so, um, I think in Boston we went through a little like this. You know, with KG was hurt, and Paul was hurt. Um, uh, no, I mean this. But injuries happen. That's stuff we can't control. Um, but what we can't control is our effort, you know, our, you know, the way we play, our pace, <clears throat> the energy. That's stuff we can't control. Um, you know, whether or not we make shots, um, I mean, that's any given night. You just never know when that happens. But, you know, we have to come out with energy. We have to come out with a lot of positivity. Um, we have to come out playing for each other. And if we do that, you know, that can take place on a lot of things. Uh, defensively, I think that's where our focus needs to, needs to lie at. Um, and if we focus there, you know, regardless of making shots or missing shots, as long as we're, you know, we're relying on our defense and we're getting stops, uh, we're going to be in games. Um, so um, we just need to go back to the drawing board, regardless of who's in the game and, you know, figure out a way um, because we still have the talent to win games. Do you feel like it's your responsibility um, when stuff's kind of hitting the fan to, to, to speak up? Like it's like responsibility. Your responsibility is a 15-year vet, someone who's been uh-huh. in the league and seen it. Man, I'm gonna speak my piece. I'm not trying to put you on the spot, but I'm, no, um, I'm gonna speak my piece and what I see. But sometimes I don't, I don't think words need to be said, especially in this um, this this time of the year right now. Um, what 16 games? Um, yeah. Give or take one or two. Um, I think we understand what we need to do, um, and that's without me saying anything. So you know, I, I know when to speak up. I know when I would need to say something. But I don't think right now is right now is the time. You get a 19 points today. Just talk about what's going well for you out there on the court. Uh, just trying to be in attack mode, um, trying to get to the free throw line, um, just trying to be aggressive. Um, my teammates, you know, Will, he, I mean, he creates a lot of attention. A lot of the, you know, eyes are on him, you know, now that, you know, Joker's out, Mike's out. Um, you know, obviously Jamal's been out. So, you know, you know, all the attention is going to be on him and AG. So I just try to do my part in being aggressive. We'll take one quick one on the Zoom. Go ahead, Jeff. Oh, I didn't know that was... Hi, Jeff. Uh, Jeff, how damaging was that first quarter conceding at 48 points? Uh, you're always chasing the game after that first quarter. Uh, it was it was very damaging, allowing them to, you know, get that big lead, allowing them to make all the shots that they made. Um, and put us in a big hole uh, and got us down 20. And, you know, when you're down 20 in the, in the first, I mean, that's, it's tough to fight back. Uh, we, but we battled. Uh, I think we cut it to about nine. And then they just went on another run. And it was hard to, you know, fight back after that. Um, but, you know, I love the way we fought. But, you know, allowing teams to get out and get to a high start like that is we can't allow that. Um, and I, I think we'll do better next game. Thank you, Jeff. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks, Jeff. Thank you.